Hello, my convicts, convict cats, yes, it is I, the Cap Convict, bringing you guys and gals this quick vlog. So, I'm not a happy boy. As you all know, unfortunately, today I wasn't able to live stream. I've just literally got in now, and it's now 14.29. I literally had to run and grab a quick McDonald's just to get somewhere to eat, because I've been out since 10 o'clock, or just after 10 o'clock this morning. To take her our way to go get a badge. Now basically, just a quick heads up, Catherine works within the community. She is a registered carer for people within the community. It can be either elderly within care homes, it could be elderly at home, or it can also be people with um, disabilities or severe disabilities or learning difficulties, and she helps and looks after them. Now, from day to day, Generally, Catherine works on a night time with a group called the Hesley Group, and she uh, goes, she stays in the person's house overnight, cares for them, and then obviously comes home the next day and then sleeps, which is why I do what I do in terms of I'm a full time carer for Rio and I look after him so that she can obviously continue to do her job and go to work and, and so on and so forth. So that's the sort of be, an, be all and end all of that idea. Now, today she was told, or oh, Catherine uh, has a terrible habit, should I say, of remembering when to do things or when she, she puts things in place. She'll basically organize something. She'll forget about it. And then they'll phone her and they'll say, where are you? And she'll go, oh, I thought it was. So she's supposed to have gone on Friday to go get her badge. But she got told it was today. So she had to quickly then get me to rush her to Sheffield to go get a badge. Then she said, oh, it'll only take a long, it won't take long, it'll take about an hour. You might lose an hour of time. You'll get back, you'll get a chance to record and I'll take the car. Yeah, that works as well. <laughs> Apart from that didn't happen. She was there for a very long time and I got really, really bored of waiting. She then come to the car and I had to then take her straight to college because she was due to go to college as well today to go and do some college work until four this evening, which I've then got to go pick her up again with Rio, which is going to be a pain in the butt in the car because I've had to take the car because she wasn't, she didn't have time to come back, drop me off, take the car and then come back. She's literally had to go from there to college to then come back and then she's got work tonight as well so it's just one crazy thing she does after another i don't know why she puts herself through all that and it's like what but there you have it so i will apologize we didn't get a chance to live stream today we will obviously be live streaming tomorrow so definitely tuning half past 10 to half past two no take backs this time if she's got something else is tough she's gonna have to walk it catch a bus Train, fly a plane, whatever she's got to do. She's got to do it. I'm not going to miss another day. But uh, it, it happens. The importance of the badge, I guess, is quite important because she's always wanted to go from being private carer to more of a professional nurse uh, within nursing. And this NHS badge gives her the entrance or her foot into the obviously industry of doing nursing so um, it was important obviously to get a badge because she's not got it today no matter how she was taking the, the mic and then and then gone no we don't want you because you you obviously don't know what you're doing which sometimes she doesn't know what she's doing but we don't need to tell them that do we but yeah it's just unfortunate that what happens happened and obviously we didn't get a chance to do what we, we wanted to do as well i'm not even going to get a chance to record because on time of doing this and then getting the recording done. I don't see me getting a chance to do it. I'll try and see if we can, but it will be later today. It'll be uploaded because it takes a while to upload as well. Also, extra bad news. So <clears throat> I've come to a conclusion, to a decision. Um, as you all know, or if you're quite new, I put in for a new line, a private leased line, which you can actually see down there at the top. The private lease line is this top one here, which then runs over here to a Draytech and then over here to a Cisco Meraki, which is right here. And then this runs obviously 
the PS5, which is just behind this monitor over here. So that's how it basically runs like that. And then you can see the Draytech. And then I've got over here the BT Hub somewhere. What did it do? BT, oh, the BT Hub's up down here actually. BT Hub's here as well. So what we've been basically doing, we've got two separate lines here. We've got the top, which is a private lease line, a GEA to FTTC connection. And then we've got the normal connection, which is underneath, which is just normal internet connection, which gives me 31, 32 download, but only five upload. So when I first signed up to BT, BT, I was going private lease because these are on the business line is the one underneath and the top one is going to be a private lease line. So the GEA to FTTC means that they're not going to change any physical connections as such. They're just going to do the work down at the um, at the exchange and then obviously the work that they had to come to actually plug this in and then go to the telephone cable and basically do that work and then go over there. So we found out that the area where the exchange is about five kilometers away. Uh, it's about five or ten kilometers away is what the, the guy said. So I've had someone call me today because I did ask him about cancelling it under the 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 true known way of knowing what it is, which is it was missold. I was missold the product because I was always guaranteed that I would get more speed than just 7.7. I did actually, uh, first off as well, sign a contract for 10.10, which then later got changed. I got given another contract. I wasn't told. And then obviously I saw eventually that that contract was 7.7 because I just thought it meant it done it wrong and I needed to sign again. But it signed me for a 7.7 contract, which is what this bearer speed would allow us to have. Even though the bearer says it's 80, obviously I'm not going to get that from here. The bearer speed that the uh, upper reach engineer said from here was 20 anyway. He said it was maximum of 20 from this cabinet over here and then going down to the exchange and everything which is five kilometers away obviously it's going to be too far it's a hell of a lot of a expensive do <clears throat> and obviously it'd be too far for him to be able to do anything from he's he's tried all different ways and looking at different ways to try and get it up and up and running for us but unfortunately it's not going to work so they offered me another deal the other deal was to go full fiber, which would be a hundred, uh, one hundred bearer, which would give me a hundred down, hundred up, uh, would be fiber to the home, but would require obviously a survey to be done, and then obviously road work to be done. So they would have to dig up the roads. They would have to put in new fiber optic from the exchange, which is five kilometers away. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then obviously try and plumb it to me here. Now the problem obviously with that is there could be many, many complications of doing so, of gaining it five kilometers and uh, digging at what roads they can and what problems gonna fa face is gonna obviously incur cost over time and obviously cost of uh, digging and putting the fiber in and everything. It's just gonna be beyond, you know, beyond my means. Uh, it's gonna be over 400 odd pounds a month is what they're asking me to pay for this connection once it goes live. 400 and something pound a month. Now, had I been a big streamer, a big YouTuber, like Dr. Disrespect or Della, you know, not go to like, I'm not gonna, exp I'm not gonna say PewDiePie because PewDiePie is like, way, 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 way up there. But you get the idea. If I had a million subscribers or a couple of million subscribers, maybe it would have been a feasible thing to do. For me, obviously on what I do, I couldn't say I could sustain to pay for hundred and pounds a month for a connection, even though I do generally feel if I had that connection, it might help because obviously it would help my live streaming. It would make quality absolutely picture perfect. I could probably even live stream in 4K and uh, obviously the quality of life for the gaming side would be absolutely astronomical as well, which would be crazy. But it just doesn't make sense to pay over £400 a month out of money that I get at the moment that I don't even know if I'd be able to sustain to do over like a two-year period. 
in order to pay off uh, you know the the amount is going to cost of around the the region of two thousand pounds you know uh, in order to put this connection in and to do all this um it just doesn't you know it doesn't sound feasible to me as much as I would like to and feel that it would make a difference in terms of what we do. I just don't see how me doing that would would be manageable and not knowing what the other costs might be if there is any other problems. Uh, they did say that they would possibly try and get me a reduction in the cost or get some of the cost waive wavered because of obviously the missold product if I was willing to go ahead <clears throat> but yeah it's it's just one of the things is it's either you know you, you give with one hand and you take with another or you, you, you take from over and you give with one hand either way it's just doesn't seem like it's a feasible thing that I could possibly do at the moment with what I have and what I'm doing at the moment for me, two hundred and forty-five pound was, you know, was that high-end payments that was going to be hard to, you know, to pay each and every month. I felt like I could afford to do it, and I didn't see it being too much of a problem uh, to be honest for two hundred and forty-five pound. Plus the fifty I've been paying for the other connection as well. I felt like that's okay. So my budget would have been around about three hundred max to pay four hundred and something. It's just going to be way beyond my budget at the moment. Uh, as much as I, I would love to try it out and, and see if it would make a difference, I just don't see that being the thing. I will speak to him again because there is fibre just down the road, or six doors down the road here. Uh, these new houses have fibre. So I don't know if there's a possibility they could put me on like residential fibre and that would be cheaper to do so. Uh, I will have a word and see what we can do in terms of that. But I think at the moment, as it stands, I think we've come to the end of the road. So I have, I'm have i going to tell them to put it under Miss Sold. They will come and rip this out. And then I'll just put it back to a normal connection that it was before, which is a 32 down 5 upload. And then we'll just have to work from there. Well, it's about 5, 6 upload. Uh, it's generally what I'm getting at the moment with the, the other Cisco Meraki. It's just the Cisco Meraki end from the fiber end. It was private leased or it was prioritized through GEA, which means it's a, it's a generic, um, generic something. Uh, I can't remember what it's called now. Generic something. Um, but basically, it's like a prioritization. So when you get to them, they prioritize my connection from the fiber end which means that this kind of like quality of service, I'm getting priority over everybody else's connection sort of thing, so that my connection will not drop pack, it will not be held in the queue. It'll just be straight there, straight back sort of thing, like private lease um, would be on the fiber, fiber line from the fiber end. But obviously coming from the other end up here, that's where obviously the issue is, where the copper line is, and because I'm five kilometers away from the exchange, that's a fair distance in order to obviously be able to, you know, to do that all this way from there. So it is what it is. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm losing my voice. But yeah, that's all I can suggest is that we go back. We'll have a look. Maybe I'll try some other way, see if there's any other options at the moment. Or if there's another company that might be able to do it cheaper, uh, we'll have a look into that. But as far as I'm aware, it's missold at the moment because I was always guaranteed or told from the very get-go I could get at least 1010 10, and I can't get 1010 10, and I, I can't get 1818 18, like they also suggested. So the only other option would have been to go for the fiber end, which would have taken a survey to do so. And I'm just, you know, I, it's just got to the point where I'm just like, no, enough's enough. I've even asked them about the possibility of the overhead fiber but it doesn't seem like they're, they're interested in doing that um, at the moment. So I don't know. We'll, we'll push them a little bit, see what happens. Take it from there, I guess, is the option uh, for now. But yeah, that's all I can suggest is go back, rework out what we're going to do, try some other different options and then 
see if there's anything we can do from that side. If not, then maybe in the future, when we do get to that point of that 1 million subscribers or so, then we could re-look at redoing something like this in the future, but maybe with a different company that, um, or with them, I don't know. We'll see, we'll decide, obviously, at that point, I'll do some digging around, find out who's cheapest, who's best, and then obviously go with that in the future. Um, but yeah, I just thought I'd let it give you a heads up on that. So we're going to have this removed, and then we'll just go back to the normal standard connection that we've currently got at the moment. I can sort of tweak some things here, like when I'm watching you guys and gals, I could probably use my mobile phone, which is this obviously I'm recording on now, in mobile mode, so 4G mode, and then just have just the PS5 connected to the, the router here. Um, buy myself a Draytech, because obviously they'll take these Draytechs and Cisco Marakis. Buy myself a Draytech um, or another modem, if we can find a better modem out there. Mint Peace or no, and uh, um, Benham as well, you'll know. Obviously, the two guys in our team who are technically minded, who will be able to give us an idea of what would be the better modem uh, and router for the future. So we'll, we'll see how we go there. Anyway, I've blabbed on for 16 minutes now. And it's now 14.45, so nearly time for Rio to come home. Uh, but I do appreciate everybody. And uh, I also appreciate everyone loves you for your understanding. Uh, it was, you know, out of my control. Uh, again, I can only apologise for that. And yeah, we'll be back to it as, as normal tomorrow. So... You know who it is, it is Ida Cup Convicts standing out, and as always, I salute you, my convicts and convicts, and I'll see you soon in some more gameplays or live stream as from tomorrow. Bye for now.